yes you can finally get a taste of some Guyanese style cooking yes guys there is finally a restaurant here in Suriname right here in Paramaribo this is a famous Guyanese snack Guyanese have a habit of mixing cream soda with milk Ooh, I like this I wonder what kind of fish it is we used to make. It's fresh and oh, warm shit. and crunchy. The mm. flavor. Yeah. And then they would roll it like a roll with the sour inside and then. Dopper is really good. Oh, like it. Nice dopper. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. good? I like it. The chicken is different. The chicken yeah, is different? Chicken is but your rice is different. Okay. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey my amazing people, trust you guys are taking good care of yourselves wherever you are. So you can see I have my two sisters here with me in the car and Hi guys. Um, Hi guys. we haven't been together in a vlog for a long time so they're joining me today. So as many of you know, Suriname is a diverse nation, a nation full of different races different cultures and with that comes food we have food or foods from all over the world India Africa Europe Asia South America you name it we have it but my question to you do we have food from our neighbor our Guyanese neighbor do we have Guyanese style food here in Suriname can you find Guyanese style cooking and Guyanese snacks here in Suriname well I'm here to tell you yes you can finally get a taste of some Guyanese style cooking yes guys there is finally a restaurant here in Suriname, right here in Paramaribo, right here among our mist. Located on the Concrete Strat. It's called Guyanese Food Corner. Concrete Strat 273, guys. So, these girls, my daughters, they're going with me. We're going to have a kind of a lunch, brunch, breakfast, or something, whatever you call it. We're going to go, we're going to try out this restaurant. I've heard about it about three weeks ago. So we're gonna give it a try guys and we're gonna check out the taste of the Guyanese style food. I am excited because you know, I personally love Guyanese style food. Yep. Among other foods. And guys, we gotta support this restaurant. We gotta support this restaurant. Like how we support every restaurant. Not because it's Guyanese, not because I'm Guyanese I'm saying, but the style of guys cooking, I am sure you're gonna love. So guys, join us, and we are gonna check out some of these foods and snacks. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> so guys, I'm here at the Guyanese Food Corner, brand new restaurant, just opened now, uh, close to a month, and it's located here on the Concrete Strat. Yeah, this is the Concrete Strat going towards the city you have flamingo strat so when you go past flamingo strat you drive down concrete strat going towards the the ring uh corner and right on the left hand side of the road number 273 you'll find this Guyanese restaurant it's called Guyanese food corner and it's a nice small cozy restaurant right besides the road Look. Oh, the glass is reflecting. You can't, uh, you can't see. But it says here, um, Guyanese food corner, your passport to authentic Guyanese cuisine. And that's the number. And you can order ahead, and you can uh, order all your Guyanese snacks you ever wanted to eat, you ever wanted to taste. 
and Rebecca and Hannah, my two sisters, they are... You're gonna confuse people, you know? Yeah, my two little sisters. I don't have a kids, right? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to try the food. Yeah, they, especially Hannah, she loves Guyanese style cooking. Yep. So guys, if you want to try something different, something um, neighborly, try the Guyanese style food, the Guyanese style snacks. You have uh, tables out here where you can sit and eat. And there's a sign up here that says Guyanese Food Corner. You can see the sign better. Guyanese Food Corner. Authentic Guyanese Cuisine. And that's the number. You can call and order. Number 273. Okay guys, let's go inside and see what's in the showcase. I'll show you some uh, Guyanese snacks some of you never heard about. Hi, morning. <laughs> That's the owner. See, she's smiling. She serves you with a smile. Very friendly. And look, let's start with the Guyanese snack. That's a egg bar. What's the coating? Potato or cassava? Cassava. Oh, it has a cassava coating. You have a cheese roll and pine tart. And that's a chicken. No, that's cassava. Oh, cassava. Okay. Oh, cassava ball. It's chicken ball, egg ball, pilari. Um, only in Guyana you can find this caramel to buy. This is a popular Guyana uh, snack. Huh? Yeah, you find it over here, but it comes from Guyana. There's a Guyan. No, it's not made in Guyana. It's made in, I think, Sweden or UK. It's from Europe. It's famous but in Guyana. It's a chocolate coated waffle. Every day they have a different menu. All these snacks you can find here at the Guyanese Food Corner. Guys, let me tell you something. I always say this in my vlogs. You may see the price up there. That price fluctuates. It can change. It's not going to change in one day or two days. But in Suriname here with the economy right now, I think these uh, politicians, when they wake up in the morning, they feel the change in price, they'll change the price of the foreign exchange. Once the foreign exchange, the price change, the price will go up. It can also be that this price can go down. But what you see there is not always going to be there. I mean, that's the price now. If things get more expensive, the price is going to change. I don't want you to say, oh, I saw on Greg's vlog fried rice for $250 when I come here to $290 or $300. Trust me, guys, price change here every single day in this in Inserna. So if you stick us up about 15 SRD, maybe tomorrow it can be 20 maybe it can be 10 It depends on how the situation in the country. So don't uh, take my word that that's going to be fixed price. In Suriname, there's never a fixed price. Okay, guys, so let me. Uh show you the menu once more for today Saturday and the price up there look for example you have the fried rice you have a medium and large the medium is 250 the large is 275 the chow mein same price the roti complete is 150 the fish curry is 275 325 the chicken curry with vegetables is 250 and 300 the dal with rice and veggies is 175 and 225 if you add a vegetable to it is 15 srd the dal with rice and duck is 450 the curry with roti is 400 and you have chicken ball egg ball alu ball cassava ball para polari cheese roll butter flap caramel yeah this is the caramel and this is the butter flap you have the, the small the medium and the large portion here so you can order three different portions. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, it's smooth. Oh, it's okay. smooth. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got this? Snoop. Yeah, so this is snoop. That's snoop. Very delicious fish. This is a chicken, chicken curry. Chicken curry, curry chicken, whatever you want to say. <laughs> chicken curry here in Suriname and Guyana. We have a chicken that has like This is the curry. The best. Guys, look in the freezer. Look in the fridge. Alright, in the cooler. Alright, in the cooler. The yeah, those are sir local. Look at the bottom there. Ah, you can you can get your icy soda, flavored cream soda. soda. Cream. Yeah. Guys, cream soda. That's a popular drink in Guyana. Guyanese have a habit of mixing cream soda with milk. And for them, that's the bomb. That's tasty. I don't know because I never tried it. Before. I mixed um, creamer last night with the cream soda. Oh, you make creamer. I never had it because I am not a fan of milk. Uh, milk will make me sick. Take my word for it. When the guy and he say cream soda and milk, every time you go to Guyana, cream soda and milk, cream soda and milk. Yeah, now once you have the other flavor cream soda, you have icy. You have banana, you have grape. Where? Look, right these, the right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had already brought those, yeah. Banana, you have grape. Nice. This is fish cake. Oh. Okay, so that's a fish cake. Fish cake. Nice. So guys, you can get your Guyanese drink here too. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, Wait, I'm coming. You order some Guyanese snack just for you to see what it looks like. I'm, I'm going to taste. The girls are going to taste. I'm sorry. If you want to know how it tastes, you have to come here yourself and you have to buy it. Okay, this here you have. This is a egg ball. This is a famous Guyanese snack. Guys, in Guyana, when you say you want to order an egg ball, you eat the egg ball with a glass of cane juice. It's a common thing in Guyana. Uh, let's stop at the corner and get an egg ball and cane juice. Stop and let's get an egg ball and cane juice. Go to the market, let's get an egg ball and cane juice. Perfect combination. But today I don't have the cane juice, I have the egg ball. But this is what the Guyanese style egg ball look like it's a boiled egg fried in a butter uh, made butter. with cassava it's a cassava butter and this um this is how much 65 srd can't go wrong the egg with the cassava look how big it is look how big this egg ball is okay taste it and, and you have a mango sour and you eat it on top like a sauce very delicious let me taste the butter first Oh, that's already spicy, but it's good. I love it. <laughs> How many of you love it? Yeah. Mm, that's really good. That's good, guys. This is pass. This is, I'll give this an eight, eight and a half. Nice. Mmm. That's good. And tell me what that tastes. The egg ball, not my specialty. I know you don't like egg ball, but it tastes the same. But oh, fry the chair falling down. <laughs> It's got flavors, right? Mm -hmm. That sauce is good, right? It's nice. Sour is good. I'm thinking about it. Sour is good. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Eat the egg now. You're yeah, just... in a bit. You're you're dieting the egg, the boiled egg. You want you have boiled egg in the car. You can eat this boiled egg. <laughs> Balance. Mm -hmm. You try. It's good. Try Bex. Yeah. I love the flavors. It's nice, right? Good. 65 SRD guys. Mm -hmm. You think about the egg, think about the mixing and everything, it's worth it. Sour is really good. Yeah. You don't like egg ball, right? No. <laughs> but it tastes good. It tastes good, right? Try the fish cake and see Hannah. This is a Guyanese fish cake. I don't think guys, I've ever had all these food. things here that we're eating, they're Guyanese style cooking. I don't think I've ever That's had That's a fish this. cake. It's got a fish no. filling inside. We don't have, uh, we came too late or I don't know if they didn't have the the aloo bake. That's something I would have loved to try today. Mm. Ooh, I like this. I wonder what kind of fish they used to make. It's fresh and oh, warm shit. and crunchy. The mm. flavor, yeah. <laughs> it's good? Well, trust me, Hannah is, a food, Hannah is a food critic. When it comes to food, you can't fool Hannah. She likes 
If she says pa, it's not good, then believe her, it's not good. I'm going to ask her if she wants fish. Huh? I'm going to ask her if she wants fish. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's good. Pa, you try it. Mm -hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. You like it? And it's so crunchy. Yeah, it's crispy. <coughs> Right, right. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste fishy, fishy. Mm -mm. It's good. But you also taste the fish because yeah, but it's not you fishy. have too much batter and you barely taste mm -hmm. fish. Mm-hmm. But it's you taste the fish in it. And can go along with, with the Guyanese. I see this is a popular drink in Guyana. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send this video to him. Yeah, she's, uh, she's on a diet. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It was good. You think it's good? Mm-hmm. Can you use one again? Cassava ball? I think so. Yes. Yeah, this is a cassava ball. Like this this is a cassava ball. See. Yeah, but the cassava ball is probably it's, a mixed in, mixed yeah, in with this. Yeah, it looks like this. Yes. But it's just that this is a cassava ball without Alone, the yeah. egg. Without egg. There's a potato inside too. Or is it cassava? Cassava. Focus out. <laughs> the sour makes everything taste so good. The sour yes. is so good. The sour always completes everything. Yeah. It's not it's not salty. It's perfect. Hans, mm. you try it? Yeah. Now we can copy it. I tell you. Is that's it? one of the best egg ball I ever had. The mm -hmm. fish cake is and also fish cake really good. Is, what kind of fish you use? Bang, bang. Oh, bang bang. It's not bad, right? For a snack. Mm -hmm. this sour thing. makes everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that bang of sour <laughs> is the bomb. <laughs> but the fish, the best. I think we're taking that home, no? What? The fish, cake? fish cake? You can order some fish cake. Yeah. This here is we call it bait. This is a, a flour dough. You fry it in oil, and you can use this bake to go with anything. You can eat it with dal, with, with, with chicken, with anything. But the best to eat bake with is salt fish. Trinidadians will say no, 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 shark. In Trinidad, this is a popular um, snack with shark. They call it bacon shark. It's popular in the Caribbean. Bacon shark. Here, sir, right now we can have it with salt fish. That's the best thing. Bacon saltfish. Guy, you go and say, let's go get a bacon saltfish. Bacon saltfish. They don't have saltfish there too. I don't think so. so I don't want to show you what the bake, bake looks like. And last but not least is the dal puri. Let me tell you this. The dal puri, you don't eat with chicken curry alone or fish curry or sardine or with beef. Yeah? You can have Dal puri and mango sour. Mango sour, guys. This is a big snack in Guyana. I don't know if you in Suriname ever heard, heard about dal puri and uh, ma mango sour. You can look at it. You have the sour in the middle there, and you have the dal puri. What do you do? You fold it up like this, and you can take a bite. Mm, this is so good. I miss this in Guyana. This is a popular snack in Guyana. Dog puri and mango sour. Not only the curry, you can have it with mango sour too. And that's tasty. Look, look at how it is. I have my, my curry with chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is so good, guys. Trust me. Mm. <laughs> I love the dog puri with the, the sour. Oh. This is a Guyanese thing, I tell you. Oh. No. I've heard they never had it. These I've kids, never tried it. These Trinamis never had this in Guyana. When we live in the States, like in the morning, that's usually your breakfast. It's so good, guys. And sit there, mm. wait for the roll to come out the towel. Uh, and then they would roll it like a roll with the towel inside. And, and like, Dapuri is really good. Oh, thank you. Nice Dapuri. Mm -hmm. yeah. Try this now, Hannah. You know, I don't think I've had this, so well, let's try. You tell me what you're he says, this girl was born in Surrey now, she don't know about this. <laughs> Try the dog, puri and sour. No. Huh? <laughs> Flavors, eh? 
It's not bad actually. Yeah, you trust me, I tell you these things. I mean, it's, like my curry it's something there. different, right? Hannah likes meat. Yeah, Hannah likes curry and roti, but this is something different. It's sour. I would need to be soaked. Yeah. That's good though. It's good, right? Try Bex, try. My hero. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look, it's just sticking all over. Just put that over the plate. Never had it before in your life, right? <laughs> you prefer your career, what's it? That's good though. It's better fills you. Yeah, but I mean, the, it's a different, right? Mm -hmm. It's a different taste you have in the roti and sour. Oh, this is so good, guys. Mmm. 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 My favorite. And guys, she makes dal puri here, paratha roti, or the clap roti, and alu roti, or potato, or potato roti. You can find all of them here. You can order. Yeah, that number there you can order. You can have dal puri, uh, potato roti, or paratha roti. You can order any amount you want on, on, uh, beforehand. Um, yeah, the sour, is, the sour is hot, but it's good. That's, that's yeah. me. That's what I love. Mm -hmm. That's good, guys. Listen to this. <laughs> she has coconut choka. Coconut choka. You can't find that here in Suriname. Nowhere. When I go to Guyana, I pre ordered coconut choka before I come back to Suriname. It's difficult to make because you have to roast the coconut and you have to grind it and you put your seasoning inside. But you have to roast it on the fire first. You have to make it charred, make it brown, burn the bit, and then you have to um, grind it on the, the, what do you call that thing? The sill? That concrete thing. People do it now in a blender. They have that. They have Baigan Choka, Palandi Choka, Eplan Choka. They have that here too. You can find Baigan Choka, Coca Choka, Alu Choka. Every Thing you want to go with bake or roti they have it those uh, choka is normally on Thursdays and Fridays because she says around that time Hindus um, they fast and because they fast they, they don't eat any meat or fish so then she makes that for them here so she knows what her clients want and she cook for what her clients want so you can find bygone alu uh, potato choka here amazing guys I tell you any guy in his style cooking food and snacks she has everything there come and try this guys try some Guyanese style cooking try that for a change try something for a change guys and if you like this comment in my video tell me what you think about it honest opinion about it for me what I've, what I've had here so far the bomb so we're gonna try the Guyanese fried rice now that's Hannah's favorite that's what she wants to try yeah. so come on let's try the Guyanese fried rice yeah that's red. The pepper here yeah, and the ketchup <laughs> That's oh yeah, the, ketchup has to go. Red. This is what Hannah loves, the Guyanese style fried rice. Yeah. You guys can try this out, Guyanese style fried rice. So Hannah gets to do the honor first. Hannah, you taste it first. Nice. You gotta make sure you have your ketchup though, and your pepper. It's gonna take a while, a little bit. Ketchup and pepper. Don't mix it, please. I will, actually. It's just a little like pepper, right? I can eat it, but it's just sometimes it's too much. It's that, too much? That looks, that looks like too much. Well, it's pepper sauce, right? Ooh. Huh? Smell like it, smell it again? I'll put a hair next to it. Yeah, it smells. Yeah. For now, that should be fine. Oof. Sorry. Man, you made a mess. Okay. Okay. This is what you die for. for this Dorito. is what you go to Guyana, especially for Guyanese fried rice. Mm -hmm. Let's taste this. Reminds me of Guyana. It means your standard? Mm, Qualified for good. your standard? Huh? Qualified for your standard? Good, yeah. You think you're in Guyana? I can smell Guyana now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Is that how they fry the chicken guy in it too? I can't yeah, remember. The chicken is not like this one. It's different. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, not bad. But the chicken is different. With the rice, mm -hmm. with the ketchup and the pepper. It's good. Mm -hmm. Next try. She don't like pepper. She don't eat peppers. Yes. Yeah, she's gonna look, look. She's gonna no, wipe this. Ketchup. She's gonna wipe the spoon off because ketchup. she don't like pepper. Yeah, My goodness. That was not ketchup. Really, I mean, look at the camera. <laughs> Bags don't know about Guyana because she was very small. She never had, had fried rice. You never had fried rice in Guyana before? Yes. Yeah, we always have good fried rice. Always. Right the first day, as soon as we get to Guyana. Exactly. On our number trip. five or what? What's the one across? The it's number five. Number one? Mm -hmm. No, that's the stand. Oh, oh you mean in Skeldon? At the market? Like after we backtrack, we come from back. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But you have to try the paperback fried rice in, in, in West Coast Barbies. Okay. Where your father is from. It's good? I like it. The chicken is different. The chicken yeah, is different. Okay. Are you guys gonna take the onion? You love the onion. Yeah. I don't like raw onions. You don't like raw onions? <coughs> no. You guys have to take the like style. To take it, but I'll take it for another. You guys have too much of style. I want to taste the rice a little first. Mhm. Mm okay. Right? That's Guyana style for you. Mhm. Mm That's just like you do it in Guyana. I think I should just. YouTube had to make Guyanese fried rice. Yeah, we can do it on Just YouTube. Just ask her for, for a recipe. Can we can do it on YouTube. <laughs> we can cook on YouTube the next video we yeah. do. Show them how to make it. I don't know how to do it. Mm. What spices they use. That's good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the oh, the pepper is hot. Yeah. Ooh. See, that's why I didn't take it. It looks it's hot. It's around the area. Yeah, the pepper is hot. But it's it's just like Amazon, right? Me, like the water is in the water is. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, huh? <laughs> it is. I'm take another bite. <laughs> when you're done. The whole thing. I was gonna take a bite. Of Look, there's onions. They're still there. Mmm. That's good. Pepper is hot, though. Sour is also good with us. Yeah, sour is hot. But I mean, it's, I mean, hot and flavorful. Yeah. So guys, if you like pepper, come and get your pepper here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, the menu changes every day. Today is Saturday, they have fried rice, they have chow mein, and they have duck curry. That's what's on the menu, the main dishes on the menu, today, and chicken curry. Every day it changes. So this is what you can find today. So every day when you come, you'll find something That's different. Right. I yeah, right. Yeah? I want to do this guy in his rice stuff. Chicken. Oh, you chicken on the cost of the chicken. Okay. That you can have an extra. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. we, uh, we That'll be the... part of the thumbnail. Right. Okay. Yeah. Guys, everything we tried here today, the fried rice. Uh, okay, I didn't try the bake, I just want to show you the bake. The dog puri with the sour and the egg ball and the fish cake. Everything was the bomb. Everything was good. Delicious, tasty. Now, if, if Hannah says this pirate reminds her of Guyana, believe me, it is. Uh, she, she's like granny, like her grandmother. Funny when it comes to food. They can, it's, it's like if they have a tongue for knowing if salt is missing or black pepper or something is missing in the food. Everything here is delicious. Okay, I'll make this clear. <coughs> Everybody taste buds are not the same. What may be delicious for me might not be delicious for you. Because I know most of us, we are custom with our own kind of cooking. We are in our comfort zone. We have to get out of our comfort zone to taste different style cooking food to know if it's tasty or not. For me, and my two daughters, Hannah and Rebecca, they love it. They love it. And I tell you, if this restaurant keeps cooking like this, they're gonna get lots of clients. They're just about a month old since they opened, not too long ago. Oh, by the way, guys, in the weekends, Fridays and Saturdays, they also have barbecue night from seven to nine. Barbecue chicken, barbecue sausages, 
everything with chicken. The, the only barbecue chicken. From Monday to Thursday, they open from 8 until 3. And Friday and Saturday from 8 until 9. All day, you can come and get different snacks. And as you can see in the showcase, they have almost all the majority of snacks you can find in Guyana. Every day, the menu changes when it comes to the different kind of foods. So guys, come and try it out. The, the owner, she's very friendly. She's a nice person. When you come here, you get served with a smile. Friendly, nice treatment. Come and try it out, guys. Come and support local. If you want something that's different, you want to taste something different, try the Guyanese style cooking. For the Surinamers who never try Guyanese food, come and try it. Snacks and food. That's it for this video. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. And I'll catch you guys on the other video. Bye guys. <laughs>